Good morning. Let me get set up here. John says a bunch of you are already in the room. So that's cool. Hold on. Don't want that. If you know, you'd guess that one of these years, I would know what's going on, how to make this thing work. Hmm. Oh, yes, I see you coming on. I'm looking for comments is what I want. Okay, come on. No, I don't want that. Ah, okay, John, I need you in here, buddy. <laughs> there we go. Why is it that I can't find your live stream chat, people? Oh, gosh, I'm your fearless leader. There we go. There we go. I got it. I got it. Good morning, everybody. I, I, I um thought that today I would be on vacay with John, getting ready to go away for the big party. And I thank you all for your kindness and understanding that we are going to be gone. But here is the deal, people. We got so many uh, people sending in stuff. I'm going to get rid of that. It's driving me crazy. Sending in stuff that it kind of blows my mind. And what was interesting in preparing for today's show and tell, I didn't even get everybody. And so I, we will show you your show and tell, I promise you, because I think it's so magnificent. Uh, above and beyond the quilts, it's the stories behind them. It's the part that grabs your heart, you know? So again, if yours don't, doesn't come up today, don't freak out. It will come up. And my thought is, is that when we get back next week, on Monday, I will do Katie Fowler, her, our intro. Wednesday, I will do more show and tell. And then Friday will be Barbara Black because that's, you know, our BOM day, the first of every year. Boy, she got it right on July 1st. So uh, I'm so relieved that we have um, somebody here to stay with the kitten, she and her friend. So, I mean, that cat is a flipping maniac. I just, I mean, I love her to pieces, but honestly, I've got blood dripping down my leg right now. I forgot how active kittens are, and oh, she's a love bug, but enough of that. Um, if Paul just asked, are, are the Simply Quilts shows available on DVD? No. Um, I, it might be on some off channel, but, you know, it was real interesting. When HGTV canceled it, I just thought, oh, man, they could just make a bundle doing this, and they never did. I mean, I guess they were just, like, moving on to the next thing. But no, and I know a lot of us had it on. Oh, here, here he comes. Here he comes. Look at how big she's getting. Yeah. Oh, she looks so innocent. Right. Um, <laughs> her, yeah, her favorite toy is... Um, I'm glad she's potty trained. Her favorite toys are those little mice. Oh, my gosh. We're just training her to take care of business when it's time. So... Yeah, Discovery Plus, that's it. And I don't think it's all of the things. For me, it's, it's. I look back and I go, oh my God, I was so young then, you know, so. But now I come with wisdom and experience. And one more thing I'm going to say, and let's get going because i got a lot here. Across the street, the house just sold, and I found out it was a young couple from uh, Nevada with young kids. And so when we moved in, we were the young couple with oh, teenage kids, right, and preteens. And um, Betty was the old lady across the street. Well, guess what? I'm the old lady now, and <laughs> so is John. And in fact, it was real funny. I said to the little kid across the street, Daniel, I, I was telling Steve that, you know, we were once the youngins, and now we're the old people. And uh, Steve, the dad, goes, you're not old. And, and what was that? Oh, the ruler. Okay. Um, and, and I said to Daniel, the little boy, we're the old people, right? And he sat there and looked at me, didn't know what to say. <laughs> but I, John, what I've you? been practicing. Get off my lawn. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have a lawn. <laughs> so blah, blah, blah. Okay. So Jake, we just got a kitten too. And he has drawn lots of blood from me, but he looks so sweet and innocent. Exactly. Get those little mice at uh, Target. 
they, you know, you get like six for five bucks. I, she actually has a bucket of toys and she goes in and digs them out. Oh, and then for Father's Day, I had forgotten it was Father's Day because I'm so looking forward to this birthday. <laughs> so I, oh, I got to get him something. So I got him exactly what every guy wants. I got him a cat carrier. <laughs> so we can take the cat up to the, <laughs> to the house. And he was actually excited about it. <laughs> You know, you're old. You get a cat carrier. <laughs> so, okay. Um, aren't you funny today? Oh, my gosh. All right. So let's start in. Rondi, I'm glad you're here because we're starting with Rondi. And this is a double wedding ring that she did up in Volcano, or at least that's a family house. At least that's where she's displaying it. I have to tell you, Rondi, your quilt is absolutely beautiful, but I'm also really taken by those windows. That is a great, great uh, photo, a great shot. So um, thank you for that, Rondi. All right. And rondi has been quilting as long as I have. I mean, we had yeah, Rondi were the dinosaurs. Oh, also at the end of this, I'm going to show you the trailer for the next show with uh, Heather Black and Carrie and Nancy. Uh, Heather's the new ones, <laughs> makes me the dinosaur. And Carrie and Nancy are responsible for Houston. Mm -hmm. Markets, festivals, and all that. It's kind of behind the scenes. All right. So then we have Gail. And she made this out of uh, CAFE layer cakes. She calls it ring cycles. It, to me, it looks like my nightmare if I had to put this thing together. Although now I'm looking at it and I can see how you did it, but it is fabulous. Absolutely fabulous. It just, I. They're not seeing any picture? Did you get your own Yeah. Yeah. Did I not? Hey, Rondi, we're not seeing the pictures. Okay. Hmm. Oh, I think I might know what it is. John, get me out of preview mode. Um, no, come here, please, because I got it up there and then I wanted to get rid of it and I didn't know how. Oh, go back to live mode. <laughs> that, let's start over. Okay. Let's try Rondi, okay? Thanks, guys. I hit a button by mistake, and well, you know, at least she's not walking across it. Oh, no, here she comes. Um, but, Rondi, look at that, you guys. I love it. Are you seeing it now, John? I can see it. Okay, great. Thank you for keeping me honest, people. Now I want to get the comments back up. There we go. Okay. You know, technical. <laughs> what do you do when you're the producer, director, and the screen person? <laughs> There we go. Yeah, it's beautiful. Okay, and now let's go back to Gail. Um, and now you'll understand what I was talking about. I mean, I look at that and I adore it. The thought of making it almost, oh my gosh, you know. Um, so this is beautiful, Miss Gail Brown. And again, this was made with layer cakes. You know, I see those in the store and I never quite know what to do with my guess is that you would have to um, get a bunch of those layer cakes to make this, but good job. Well done. Okay, then we have Kathy, but it says here, Roberta. Hmm. Um, this is, you know what, Roberta? I might have not put yours in. I'm going to circle that. Um, this is Kathy's spinning spools, and the reason I'm putting it up is look what she did in the leaves with the hand stitching. So it's kind of a really cool combination of what we did versus what we're doing now. Um, gosh, Roberta, I don't know where you went. Roberta, please send me back. Let me look here. Roberta, please send me your picture again. I don't know that I would be able to find it. I would really appreciate it. So, Kathy, think about that. You know, you learn a technique, and then what can you do to make it different? And it looks like she did some fancy stitching on the raw edge, too, which is super cool. Okay, here is Beth. Um, she, this is She's done a couple of the projects, but this was her favorite of what we've done, the baskets. And I, look at the cat, and I got to tell you, this is magnificent. I adore how you set those um, on point around the outside edge. 
And what's so interesting to me is it looks, I guess, yeah, there are some places you had to do some fillos, fillers, but I'm kind of shocked that you didn't have to do an inner border to get that right, um, to get it fit, to get it to fit beautiful. Okay, then we have Diane. Oh, Diane. Okay, this was spinning spools. The name of it is African Queen. And um, Diane, thank you for sharing. She says she doesn't usually do show and tell in her guild or anything. Well, I am certainly happy that you are show and telling this particular quilt. Um, that is a Jacob Batik for the center. And you know what? It's in honor of her sister who is dying of cancer. And so, see, this is where the stories start to come in. Um, you know, whenever you make a quilt, there is stuff going on. But it, when it's something as poignant as that, every time she looks at that, she'll have a gentle hug from her sister. Okay, and then we have Pat, who did Ricky's kaleidoscope kaleidoscope class that he presented last summer here. So that turned out great. And if you didn't see that class, you might want to go back under learn and watch it. It was about a year ago and pretty cool techniques and pretty funny to watch too. Because as he said through the whole thing, as you go through it, you go, oh, I don't like it. I don't like it. And then you add the next thing and you love it. So... Do you guys like these show and tales? Because I love them. I love them. But I don't want you, I, I, I want you to love it as much as I love it. Okay, because it takes a little bit of work to put it together. Okay, then here is Chris. Okay, this, this, here's another story for you. Um, Chris Claire, I think that's how you said her, Claire. Um, her 27-year-old daughter, Hannah, made this. She only has one hand. Can you imagine? Can you imagine? Um, so she said that Chris says that she does a lot of the cutting and things like that for Hannah, but Hannah does the sewing. Okay, but then let's take a look at what Chris does. I'm trying to have dignity here. Okay, I'm just trying. Get off this thing. Get off. I got to put something on here because my fear is she'll hit the keyboard and then we're into trouble again. Okay, go away. Go away. All right. Um, let's see. Oh, yeah. Let's go look at Chris's quilt. And now I can't get to it because my keypad is covered. Oh, this is a day. This is a day. Here's Chris number two. Look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful. The color wash that goes across it is just magnificent. I, you know, in the olden days, I didn't really care for the oranges and yellows and all that and man they're my go-to now and throw some pink in while you're at it mm -hmm. okay then this is um carol's and it's from the basket class you know that was really a fun project and i and i'm glad that i got, gave mine away for a food kitchen um you know remember we put in a raffle thing or something but you know I wasn't that attached to the quilt, and now that I see it here, I think I'm more attached than I thought I was. Oh, well, it's off to a good home, right? And then this is Carol. Here's a wall hanging for her niece. Okay, Carol is all up in wool, all right? And I'll tell you what, your niece should be happy as happy, happy, happy. Carol was the person, and I didn't put it in, who did, Color our color my world last year in wool, and it is spectacular. It, um, just go look up quilts from Color My World, and you'll see it. I again, I here's why this is kind of goofy right now. Lennox came over. Here. <laughs> I was trying to do this when she was here. Oh, once a bubby, always a bubby, right? But anyways, I will say this right now. Your niece has to be thrilled. I think you said she might be going off to college or something. I forget what, but it was um, it was a momentum of something she was doing. Okay, then we have Penny with her neutral stars. All right. The second time I looked at this, I saw it. Look at the pinwheels for the backgrounds. 
because I like to normally do some light backgrounds, some dark backgrounds, but what you did, Penny, is flipping awesome. I'm, I'm assuming you guys can see it. How simple is that? How magnificent is that? And I don't honestly don't know if it's a pattern that's out there or whatever. I don't know. Okay. And then we have Tony. Oh, oh, this is, I am so sorry. Need some melatonin for this cat. Okay. So, okay, here we go. Remember this when we worked on this? Um, well, Tony made it into a market bag and she used drop cloth for the um, bag itself. And if you remember, uh, Libby Williamson uses a lot of drop cloth and things like that too. So um, she said it might be too elegant for a bag, a market bag, but I will tell you right now, John, come get this cat. She's a, God, she's biting. Go, go away. Sorry. <laughs> How am I supposed to be professional here? That's what you think it's funny. I got blood on my legs. Now she knows she's in trouble. Sorry, you guys. <laughs> all right. Um, all right. So, but then look at the back of this, too. On that particular fabric, look at that. How cute. And she also put pockets on the inside. I don't, I don't know, Tony. It might be awfully special to use for a market bag but i can tell you right now people are going to see it they're going to love it and they might even get inspired to go make something so if that isn't the ultimate show and tell i don't know what is okay then we have karen with ukraine on my mind absolutely spectacular the graphic aspect of this is amazing, absolutely amazing. Okay, then we're going to move on to Wendy. And Wendy did these butterflies with raw edge applique. It's beautiful. Um, and now she has to sit down at her Q20 and make some sense out of it. So on the quilting, I don't know how you're going to quilt this, but my Gosh, that is spectacular. And I'm wondering um, what the inspiration for this might have been. Is it a pattern? I don't think so. Um, I don't know. But, you know, it's funny. In Joanne's class, I just painted a butterfly, and I tried to make it monarchy because the plight of losing our monarchs. So, Wendy, fabulous. Thank you so much for that. Oh, and then Mary, cows. <laughs> I love it. Now... This is interesting. Um, I believe she said this was a foundation paper pieced pattern, um, but she raw edged applicated. So how about that, guys? Just because a pattern is presented to you in a format doesn't mean that's how you have to implement it. So thank you, Mary, for, um, I think your last name is Zeet, um, for reminding us that just because it's presented one way doesn't mean it can't be done another way. And the quilting on it, I love too. Anything frilly to me would have taken away from it. But then again, I love straight line quilting. Okay. Okay, then this is a wall hanging by Carol <clears throat> and from Boise. And she made the flowers with less petals than, yeah, because it is smaller. But the thing that I thought was kind of fun was that she, um, left the petals floppy and you can cut I, I think she said just on the border but I bet that it's also on the vertical too because like if we look at the upper left hand one it looks like it's flopping there and then she <laughs> and then she tacked it down this is called peaceful posy so here we've taken a pattern and adapted it to a space perfect okay then this is Susan all right, <clears throat> here's another adaptation. You take an idea and then you put in what you want to put in. And I might, if I were a betting woman, these have got to be foundation paper pieced, but I'm not going to 100% bet on it. But isn't that great? I think that's just fabulous. And then number two, looks like we have embroidery coming up and there's your embroidery. Okay, Susan, time for a market bag. <laughs> You know, actually, 
I might do that with mine because they're, you know, I don't know. I've got to finish them. i got to make them a pillow or something. But man, I loved that class. I loved it. And it's completely gotten me hooked. I mean, Sue Spargo should buy stock in me right now. All right. This is M.L. Sutherland. And, and I'm going to tell you something. This is your disappearing nine patch. And Lennox, who was here, again, while I was putting this together, was... Um, fairly intrigued with this and we went looking for the nine patches and uh, this is beautiful absolutely beautiful i will give you this hint when we do the next um basket rom run rendezvous that quilt we're going to have kits that are both warm and cool and this looks very much like the um cool palette that uh, the girls have put together Okay, then we have Mona with her hanky butterflies. Um, I want to put this out there that people, if you've got these antique linens that, please don't send them to the thrift store. Please, please, please. Um, they are fabulous. They are wonderful. And if they don't get in my hands, they can get in Robin's hands. They can get in Cindy's hands. Um, I even thought about like in the Livermore patch putting something on it that I'm seeking them. You know, they, they only sell for a buck or two if you're lucky. And I just think people, well, I'm, I'm mad at myself. My uh, dear friend Karen sent me a bunch and I didn't know what to do with them. So I shipped them up to Cindy and I could just spank my rear end right now. Um, but that's okay. That's okay. I've got plenty. Okay. Then Mike, Mike, Mike. Ellis Elling, Ellingson. Okay, so he fell under, beautiful by the way, absolutely beautiful. Um, he was named Minnesota Quilter of the Year for 2020. Well, bust on that quilt show, right? And then it was canceled, and then it was 2021, and um, it was virtual. So I think of, um, as beautiful, your work is lovely. And I guess it's better late than never. And I remember Barbara Black, um, she was going to have a special exist exhibit at Houston, and it had to go virtual. And then I think when they got back up and running, they did it in person too. So, Mike, congratulations on that honor. Super bummer. But I know this happened to a lot of people. Oh, and then this one, you're going to recognize this one. Okay, this is Kathy. Um, this is from Ricky's Lizzie Albright uh, book and pattern, and my guess is you bought the kit. Well, it's not with her right now. It's going to be up at the Sisters Art Outdoor Quilt Show. Is that next weekend? No, I think it's two weekends. So look for this. It's Kathy, all right? One of us, all right? And then we have Jeannie, and this is another support for Ukraine, Sunflowers for Peace. You know, it's interesting because historians down the road will come in and know exactly what time frame this was made because of the beautiful sunflower, because of the fabric, because of all of it. A lot of blue and yellow sunflower quilts are being generated right now. And I will tell you right now, Jeannie, yours is lovely, absolutely lovely, just like the earlier one we saw. You know, it's funny you think, you know, how do they date things? Well, there's a lot of things that go into it, but I'll tell you, there'll be no mistake in the Ukraine quilts. Okay, then um, Debbie... Let me find you. Debbie's granddaughter is going to Texas A&M. Congratulations. I hear that's a pretty tough school to get into. And so here you go. There You are going to be in like Flynn, granddaughter of Debbie Wolf. <laughs> Kicking it. Kicking it at A&M. But uh, find out where the library is. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. That was the mistake my son made. Okay. Um this is Linda Bielmer, and this is Dance of the Butterfly. This was the first quilt she made in COVID. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, that's all I'm going to say. Yeah, just gorgeous, just gorgeous. Okay, and then Pat made this pattern. It was from my neutral book, and she made it a wedding quilt. I, you know, it's so funny. 
that you made a wedding quilt out of this because honestly, when I made it in neutrals, that what was that is what was on my mind. Um, it is. It's not an easy quilt. It's not a hard quilt. But if you are interested in this quilt, uh, the book is no longer in print. But um, I'm sure you can get it as a PDF. And then we end with Mary Fisher today. Um, she have she made these three quilts for her friend's children. Her friend lost the husband of uh, lost the husband, and she wanted three quilts for her kids. And uh, Mary did this with 28 ties. 28 ties she pulled this off. So um, beautiful. Thank you for the blessing that you have given that family, Mary. Oh, and the other thing is one of you wrote me, because remember I showed you all the great ties I got, and it, should, it was said, deconstruct it, put it in a lingerie, lingerie bag, and then wash it on gentle in your washing machine, and it should be just fine. So one of these days when I go to Diana's, I'm going to do a lot of deconstructing, right? So... Um, yeah, this is all just super good. Okay, I mean, let me see if I can do this and not screw it up. <laughs> um, Heather Black and Carrie, uh, Nancy, are on this week's show that aired yesterday. I love Heather Black's work. I think her work is so fresh and so beautiful. Um, it was a super fun show to tape. And I love that we captured, okay, here's the deal. As you know, every year we do a legend, okay? And we had chosen Carrie and Nancy to be our legend. But because of COVID, we just couldn't, didn't want to get everybody together, this and that. So we sent Shelly, and Shelly's actually ended up with four great um, field pieces. I think four, three for sure. Uh, we've already done one on the Texas Museum that they put together. But these women are paramount in our industry, paramount. Uh, let me go to my thing. This thing is called a desktop. Look at all you there. Look at you. Look at you. Look at you. Look at you. I'm going to go to, oh, gosh, gosh, gosh. I thought I had it here. Doggone it. Okay, let's do this. The quiltshow.com. One day I'll figure out how to do this. Okay. I love under watch that you can go and watch the trailer for a show. So let's go here and let's go the trailer. Let me move it up. And here we go. Carrie's on the left and Nancy's on the right. I will tell you they are cousins that were raised as sisters. You will not see this here, but um, here we go. On the next quilt show, her modern designs are bold, geometric and simply wonderful. Meet Heather Black and learn the basics of curved piecing. Plus, she has practical design tips you will not want to miss. That's why I pick a theme. No sound. Here we go. It's not off. Let me go to my gears. Boy, I'm glad John is here. She didn't even get on my, um, where's sound here? She didn't even get on my computer. There's sound. It's on, honey. No, it's on up there, too. This is enough to drive me crazy. That's not muted. Try again one more time, and then I say I give up. On the next quilt show, her modern designs are bold, geometric, and simply wonderful. Meet Heather Black and learn the basics of curved piecing. Plus, she has practical design tips you will not want to miss. That's why I pick a theme when I'm designing, because then you want to pick design elements that support that theme. And the more design elements you can use to communicate those themes, the more straightforward it's going to be at the end. Then, go home with the legendary ladies of the International Quilt Festival. Carrie Patterson Bresenhan and Nancy O'Brien Puentes. You learn to take real pretty little stitches here because you're going to wake up every morning of your life and have to look at them. <laughs> These visionary cousins have created one of the most quintessential quilt shows in the entire world. 
hear their story. Inspiration, ideas, and ingenuity right before your very eyes here on The Quilt Show. Here we go again. Yes. Her sound was working. She had turned it off. She had turned it off? She walked across my finger. Oh, the sound was working? I, oh, sorry, guys. John said it's not working. Well, no, she walked across his thing, and it wasn't working. Oh, my gosh. So, yeah, if you've never been to the Houston Quilt Festival and uh, wonder what it's all about, this is a great little field piece for you. Um, it was a great show, Susan. And I'll tell you, with Heather, what really got to me there, like that, her design is beautiful but that one that we did in the trailer with that straight line quilting ooh. so um if you've never been to houston it will give you a little bit of an idea of what it is and also you will um under learn the difference between market and festival you often hear it but it's like what's the difference well it's all explained and really what they have done for the industry is paramount we would not be here today with without them that just goes to show okay so here we go um yeah yeah see we, we met them you know they, they are rarely on the floor but they come through the floor on their little scooters and it's like the royalty is moving through <laughs> so i want to say to all of you thank you i'll see you next monday we're going to do katie fowler wednesday more show and tell and then Friday's Barbara Black. Um, have a great time. I know we are. Um, so we will see you next Monday. Bye-bye.